Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with random reviews from the overflow room. Boom, yeah. Now, we're still doing Schubert. I'm just making sure we're still doing, yes, lots of Schubert. We have tons of Schubert to go. And uh, here is the latest pile. Um, and this is a mixed batch. The last batch, if you saw it, was entirely the Naxos Schubert lead edition. Most of it, not all of it, but most of it. Um, and now we're dealing, we're back with like symphonies and let me see, some chamber music and some historical recordings and oh my, all kinds of, all kinds of nifty things. So what do we got here? Let's go. We've got, oh, Schubert's ninth with Giolini on Sony and the Bavarian Radio Symphony Orchestra. Now this is late Giolini. Uh, it's very slow Giolini. But the wonderful thing is he doesn't take all the repeats and it's it's actually a very beautiful performance. Um, there's a, a, a depth and a, a, I don't know, a, a singing quality to it that I really like. I, I've, I've kept it forever. Um, you know, the slow movement is 16 minutes long. <laughs> But really, it's good. It's very, very good. But the scherzo, at least, is not the longest movement in the symphony. It's only 11.43 without repeats. Yay! You don't want those repeats. It's a bad idea. Schubert, Piano Sonata D960, and the Reliquier, the Incomplete 840, with a Rudolph Circuit, part of that Circuit edition. Um, and uh, this is from 1975, actually, this D960. And it's, I mean, you know, I collect Circuit. He was a brilliant, brilliant pianist. Even if you don't like everything he did equally, he's one of those guys who I think we should like be collecting. Schubert's five and eight, Rosamunda, San Francisco and Blomstedt. Blomstedt was always a great Schubert conductor. He did the complete cycle um, with the Staatskapelle Dresden that was available last on like Brilliant Classics or Berlin Classics or one of those labels. It's a wonderful Schubert symphony cycle. These performances are lovely. I tend to prefer the Dresden recordings because I like that orchestra and this music, but there's nothing wrong here. They are lovely, lovely performances. Uh, Schubert 9, Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment, the great C major. Sometimes it's 8, sometimes it's 7. I don't know what number it was. It's the great C major with Charles McCarris and the Orchestra of the Age of Enlightenment on period instruments. Somehow he manages to do like a lot of repeats, but still make sure the scherzo is not the longest movement in the symphony. Yes. Um, and uh, it's quite good. It's a very good performance. I'm not as thrilled with it as others have been. And I love McCarris, you know that. But um, I prefer other versions, but it's, it's good. It's very good. And for period instruments, it's fine. Here is the Klemperer, Schubert 8 and 9, which I've already talked about in this series, I think, or I talked about it with Klemperer. Fantastic performances. And you can see from the fact that they managed to couple both the 8th and the 9th on a single CD that the tempi are not slow. Not a bit, which is a yay, wonderful. Schubert Trio Number no. Two with the Brahms Trio Number no. Two with Heifetz, Heifetz and Piatigorsky and Jacob Letiner piano. Oh boy, juicy. 63 and 65 on RCA, part of that old Heifetz Gold Seal, Heifetz whatever edition it was. Um, and I got it because it was Heifetz and I keep it because it's Heifetz. And people bought it because it was Heifetz and Piatigorsky. Uh, Schubert Impromptus, German Dances, and Moment Musico with Lars Falkt, um, who is no longer with us, quite sadly. And they're lovely performances. And also six German Dances. Yes, Impromptus, German Dances, and Moment Musico. Beautiful performances on Undine. Um, it's in the Lars Falkt. Oh, no, it's not in the Lars Falkt box, because that's EMI. I was going to say, I have to talk about that box. It's a nice box. It's lots of good chamber music. Schubert Symphony No. 5 works for violin and orchestra. Um, Salt Colo Violin, the Capella Savaria on period instruments with Nicholas McGagan. Ah! On Hungariton. Wow. Which I haven't even opened. It's still in the plastic. I have to listen to this at some point. I never listened to it. I have to be honest with you. Um, you know, most of this stuff I did play, and this was something I'm sure that I had planned to get to. Um, but other things intervened, and so I had to put it somewhere because I'd, someday I really do want to listen to it. You tell me if it's any good. I have no idea. Um, much as I've listened to, there are gaps. Uh, Mrs. Solemnus by Schubert, his mass in A flat with Harnicourt. Yay! Oh, these are good performances too. With the Arnold Schoenberg Choir, the Chamber Orchestra of Europe. 
Schubert's masses are terribly underrated. They're extremely beautiful and, and big. I mean, this is a full scale, big sucker. It's 50 minutes long. It's not to be sniffed at. So listen, instead of sniffing, it was on Teldec, back when Teldec was Teldec. Uh, about here, uh, Schubert for the tragic number five and the Rosamunda Overture. Now this has all kinds of people doing it. The tragic is Ormandy in Philly. Yes, I love it. Uh, the fifth is Columbia Symphony and Bruno Walter. The Rosamunda Overture is Cleveland and George Sell. What a wonderful disc this is. I mean, look at who's on it. It's like it's like a a, a, a an overview of great conducting in the USA <laughs> in Schubert. That was great. It's on essential classics, and I'm sure it's gone forever. Here is the EMI Shinnem Alone with Fisher Diskal and Gerald Moore. Um, widely regarded as his finest from his, it's his earliest. It's the one where he was really still singing instead of barking or woofing or whatever he did later. I mean, he always did this music extremely well. He did it with Gerald Moore. He recorded it three or four times. Mm -hmm. But this was the one to get. It's, it's the great recording of the century. And it is a great recording of the century. It's really, really fine. The only real, you know, major, major competition at that point was Fritz Wunderlich when he did his DG recording, which of course is or concours, as they say in French. Walter Schubert Symphonies Five and Unfinished with Beethoven's Leonora Number no. Three with the Columbia Symphony and the New York Philharmonic. Um, is this all stereo or is some of this? No, I guess it's all stereo. It looks like it is. It's, of course, it's in the big Bruno Walter box, but I liked keeping the separates just because I like them. Now, here is a real surprise. Schubert's uh, Ninth, The Great, and The Unfinished, and The Fifth, with Bernstein and the Concertgebouw, some of the best late Lenny that he did. They are beautiful performances, fully worthy of the best. I, I kid you not. These shocked me when they came out because I was expecting like crazy slowness and weirdness and whatnot. Nothing like it. Natural, flowing. He revels in the sounds of the orchestra. He lets them play. He keeps it moving. It's absolutely gorgeous. Both of them. Phenomenal. Really phenomenal. I mean, you know, late Bernstein could be could be a little odd, but when he was on, he was he was the great great Lenny, and that's on. That's major. Uh, the string quintet, the string quintet in C major with the Mellows Quartet and Rostropovich. This was a famous, famous recording, and it deservedly so. It's marvelous. It's first class, absolutely first class. Uh, what have we got here? Schubert Piano Trio D929, the fantasy for violin. Oh, yeah. This is on Archipel, which God knows where they got it from, um, from 1935. The trio and the fantasy. This is with with Adolf Busch, um, and uh, live from the Library of Congress in the 30s with Rudolf Serkin. Adolf and Herman Busch and Rudolf Serkin from the 1930s on Archipel in horrible sound. What do you expect? But famous. Oh, so famous. Schubert's Ninth and the Unfinished. Oh, this is on Arcadia. Arcadia was, you know, it sort of you know, pirated recordings and public domain thingies and historical recordings with the Concertgebouw and Mengelberg. Now these are in various Mengelberg boxes, of course. And I got it because it's Mengelberg. I mean, you know, he was perverse and strange and the sounds isn't so great, but you know, he was historical. So I'm paying my debt to history. And then we've got uh, Zu and Meda and the Israel Phil doing the great, the ninth. You know, Meda did wonderful Schubert as well. Very good Schubert. Extremely good Schubert. He did a cycle, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, this is part of it. So, and it sounds quite, quite lovely. It's a very bold, happy, um, impressive performance. I, I like it very much. So there you go. That's that batch of Schubert. Some interesting stuff there, right? Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. It's just got all kinds of Schubert. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me. Take care.